Hello, welcome back to Water Movie. I'm Tony. And I'm Claire. And we're here for a brand new show. Yes. Oh, finally. Um, we've watched other new shows. They just have not shown up on the channel yet. Yeah. We're kind of preparing them in advance, whereas this one will go up pretty quick. Um, yeah. We're watching The Office, the US yeah. Office, as you can see. Um, Claire, you have seen some of this. Some of it, yeah. You're not sure how much. No. Yeah. <laughs> I doesn't really help. No. I have seen this episode, the first yeah. episode ever, and then I just never carried on. Not because I didn't like it or anything like that. Yeah. Just because I was like, I should probably carry on watching what I've already yes. been watching. Um, so I just didn't. I yeah. just kind of stopped. Um, I don't remember what happened. Do you know what? I can't remember what happened in the past. I know. But I went for a phase of not really liking it. Okay. Fair but enough. I think I worked out, I didn't. the reason I didn't like it was I didn't know the story. Is so it you, you know, weren't like following the episode. Yeah, so, like oh, when okay. you watch a random episode or something, you're like, I don't know what's going on. Shouldn't that work with like, something like this though, comedy? But it does. But yeah. then there's also that overarching. overarching yeah, that probably... I think that's what I would get annoyed yeah. with, and then just be like, I don't like this yeah. because I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. They, there's in jokes and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So I tried yeah. to start watching it from the beginning, but I don't think I don't don't think I got very far. Okay. Yeah. So, like I said, yep, yeah, I've only seen this one. I've seen little bits of the UK Office mm -hmm. because my dad watched it but yeah. um from what i understand is this c goes into its own kind of light whereas that was like very dry british yeah humor documentary this, this, this is more over the top it gets yeah. into doesn't it um i have seen like a bunch of parks and rec which is very similar to this yeah. in the mockumentary style aspect yeah. of it um talking to the camera that sort of stuff yeah. um but other than that yeah i know like characters i know like Steve Carell plays Michael Scott. I know yeah. that. I know, uh, yeah, Dwight. I know, I can't remember his name. Quiet, quiet Place Guy, Jim. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I've seen a few clips here and there. Yeah, I think it's so, hard to avoid office clips. Yeah, yeah. So, and there's a lot of memes yeah, out there. It's a and, huge deal, isn't yeah. it? So, but I don't know much else. I don't know any storylines. I don't know many jokes. Like, I've, I've seen little bits, but not much. So, yeah. yeah um, but this is Season 1, Episode 1. This aired on the 24th of March, 2005. Uh, it's called Pilot. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's directed by Ken Quops. And is that Quapis? Yeah, Ken Quapis. And written by Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Greg Daniels. So obviously, I'm not sure about Greg Daniels. I know Stephen Merchant and, yeah, Ricky Gervais, they created the UK office. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and they're both in it as well. Aren't oh, they? okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I do know, like, uh, that's season one's a bit slow. Like, yeah, I've heard that. Something. I've heard that. It's kind of a similar deal with Always Sunny. Yeah. That feels a bit different. But you've got same to with, build the set. Yeah, you've got same to build with the story. Parks and Rec. Same with a lot of shows. You've got to build up those characters, yeah. find your footing, and then run away with it. So, I'm very excited. Let's get on with it. Um, full reaction will be in the description. You need your own copy to watch along. Just make sure to come back where we talk all about it. Let's go. Exciting. I know the theme as well. What? What are you saying? That's not it. Uh, I don't feel like it's perfect. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I joined my this. It doesn't even say I've watched it. No. So maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Play. Gives you a punchline. Yes. Gives you a really like Philly vibe for the opening. Gives you what? Philly, Philly vibe. Because <laughs> of like panning the streets yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've also know of the theme. Uh, yes, John Krasinski, yeah. Krasinski. I always also know of the theme because um, someone did the Parks and Rec theme over this and this over the Parks and uh. Rec intro. So, yeah. You've come to the master for guide. What you're saying, Grasshopper? Uh, actually, you called me in here. This is Michael Scott. I am the regional manager of Dunder Mifflin Paper Products. Hmm. The master right, is his name. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a woman. That was <laughs> okay. <laughs> you a very low voice. Probably a uh, smoker. <laughs> So that's the way it's done. So oh, this is my kingdom, far as the eye can see. See, I recognize the actual office. Yeah. Pam! 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 Pam Beasley? <laughs> if you think she's cute now, you should have seen her a couple of years ago. Okay. What? Um, uh, any messages? HR? Yeah, just a 
corporate. How many times have I told you that there's a special filing cabinet? Waste paper basket. <laughs> God's sake. It's like <laughs> working in a war zone. <laughs> We've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious. I think that pretty much sums it up. Uh, talks for itself, yep. don't it? I found it's it. Spencer Gibbs. <laughs> Nobody bought it for him. No. <laughs> what are, they? are you sure you've watched this first episode? I do not remember <laughs> this at all. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's ready to kill us. To speak to client uh, <laughs> quantities, you know, no. uh, whether we can supply it to them. <laughs> Sounds pretty. He looks so uh, young. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm boring myself just talking. Oh, this, this, <laughs> it sounds absolutely thrilling. What the? Oh, that class. What the? What the? Um, imagine if your boss did that to you. Like, yeah, it would be like, what is going on? It's just awkward. <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> it's very mundane, isn't it? It's yeah. just like... Corporate really doesn't interfere okay. with me at all. Call her Hillary Rodham Clinton, right? Not to her face, because... <laughs> well, not because I'm scared of her. <laughs> I'm scared. It sounds like he's scared. Me no get in agenda. Well, I faxed one over to you this morning. <laughs> Why is it in my hand? Oh my god, he's the, the worst. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, get it. <laughs> you put it in the garbage can that was a special filing cabinet. <laughs> she's, she's just like screwing him over. Yeah. Oh, that, was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke that. Uh, we can't justify a Scranton branch and a Stanford branch. No, Michael, no, don't panic. No, 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 no. This no, is no, good. No. All we the alarm bells it. are kind of going. We oh. haven't made it. <laughs> <laughs> you were him to convince me that your branch could incorporate the other. There's going to be downsizing. I certainly wouldn't wish it on my men or women. Present company excluded. Uh, is Josh concerned about downsizing? Not downsizing himself, but is he concerned about downsizing? <laughs> I mean, if he's not, I'll just do it to him. You know. <laughs> Question. Man, how they're long real pranks to say. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, Todd Packer. Hey, is old uh, Godzilla coming in today? Um, I don't know, <laughs> know what you mean. Look, does the carpet match the drapes? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, do you think we could keep a lid on this for now? It will not leave this office. They can find out instantly on yes, there. What is downsizing, actually? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be me, probably. Yeah, it'll be you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Going to Angela's cat party on Sunday. Yeah. Cat, cat party. Yep, cat I'm party. As a doctor, you would not tell a patient if they had cancer. Hey. <laughs> what? Hey. I don't think he'd be a very good doctor. Ryan, the temp agency? Uh huh. Like uh, Mo Howard. Three Stooges. Knock, 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 knock. Mm -hmm. uh, right what? <laughs> Pam. It's a guy thing, Pam. I'm sort of a student of comedy. <laughs> she is not impressed. Here we go. <laughs> I'm Hitler. It'll Hitler. I think everyone knows. I don't think it's the worst thing if they let me go. I don't think it's many little girls dream to be a receptionist. I like to do illustrations. Oh. Um, <laughs> mostly watercolor. A few <laughs> That's a perfect color. That's <laughs> really good. They're good. <laughs> yeah, something just came up. Two minutes. Thank you very much. It's happening. It's what Dwight. It's happening. Ugh. Not on your desk. It's overlapping. It's also <laughs> the edge. One word, two syllables. Demarcation. What the hell? <laughs> you can't do that. It's a fault. Safety violation. I could fall and pierce an <laughs> organ. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> see, this is why the whole downsizing thing it just doesn't bother me. Downsizing? <laughs> Downsizing? <laughs> I've been recommending downsizing since I first got here. Bring it on. Oh. He accepts the challenge. Yeah. Relax. Relax. Bit of a badass. This is so important, I should run to answer it. Shut up. Shut up. What is he doing? <laughs> you've, got, you've got nine seasons of this. Of this man <laughs> yeah. acting like this. 200 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I missed nine seasons of him walking to the office. 
Six million dollar man! That would be a good salary for me, don't you think? I deserve a raise. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're uh, unhappy with your compensation, maybe you should take it up with HR. Mm, I did say HR already. Yep. Yeah. Be professional. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I think I'm a role this. model here. Heroes of mine would be Bob Hope. I don't know who Bob Hope is. Abraham Lincoln. I don't know who Abraham Lincoln is. <laughs> Bono. Uh, Bono probably vibes. God would be the fourth one. <laughs> yeah. And I, I doesn't just think, think much of himself, really, does he? No. Uh, yeah. helped. It's really beyond words. It's really incalculable. <laughs> I know there's some rumors out there, and I just kind of want to set the ground. I'm assistant regional manager. I should know first. Assistant to the regional manager. Yeah, you whispered in my ear. Oh my god. Okay. So Can you tell him? With my permission. I don't need permission. Your permission. Right. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Corporate Jan is thinking about downsizing either the Stanford branch or this branch. I heard they might be closing this branch down. This is my first day. I don't really know. <laughs> well, first day. Won't be out of my hand. Promise you that. Oh, can you promise that? On his mm -hmm. mother's grave. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, it is a I will not trust that. Insulting. Hold on a second. I think Pam wanted to say something. Pam, you. Uh, I feel like she just wants to I disappear was in a into her room. With Jan, and she did say that it could be this branch that gets the axe. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Pam, the ongoing confidentiality uh, yeah. agreement of meetings. Pam, you can't say for sure. Deadly? No, you did not see me in there with. I said you're gonna have to go through me. No, I have that. Yeah, 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 definitely. But you ain't gonna be messing with my chillin'. Uh, what? <laughs> if I left, what would I do with all this useless information? <laughs> what? It's a good point. Yeah. Dwight Schrute. Brian, the new temp. So, uh, Dwight Schrute, assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. <laughs> it's so, it's uh, a difference. Yeah, yeah there's a words. big difference. <laughs> yeah. The uh, car and everything. Brian, I got some wow. photos. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? 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 You put my stuff in jello again. <laughs> 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 Third time, and it wasn't funny the first all two right, times either, right. Jim. It's okay here. <laughs> that uh, takes talent. Sometimes <laughs> Volunteer sheriff's deputy on the weekends. <laughs> and you cannot screw around. My staple. No, 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 no! Do not take it out. You have to eat it out of there. <laughs> and which I hate. You can be a witness. Can you reprimand him, please? How do you know it was me? <laughs> For God's sake. Discipline him or not. Ooh, discipline. Kinky. <laughs> all right. Here's the deal, you guys. Now is the time to stop putting Dwight's personal effects into Jello. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Dwight, I'm sorry. I've always been your biggest flan. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it is around here. <laughs> you should have put him in custody. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second to... Uh, damage to company property. The <laughs> staple. <laughs> Putting. I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> Did they do any work? No. <laughs> so when are we going out? I don't know. Tonight. Hey, man. Hey. Oh, wow. Hey. Uh, Roy's my uh, fiance. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you don't know this yet. <laughs> we were supposed to get married in September. Do you mind if I go Seems out true. for a drink with these guys? Let's get out of here. Go home. He looks a bit I don't know. To do my faxes. You know what? You should, uh, yeah. you should come with us. I think it could be fun. No, it sounds sounds good. Man. Oh no. <sighs> I'm I'm guessing the show's full of a lot of cringe and awkwardness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared for nine seasons of that. It's in the back. Still I'll talk to her later. No, definitely. Alright, dude, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to do this small talk, it's just Yeah. Yeah. Do I think I'll be invited to the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> We work hard, we play hard. I'm a friend first, and a boss second. Is that how it's meant to be? Yeah. Entertainer third. Just a second. <laughs> Entertainer. Right? Do you like the Jamie Kennedy experiment? Yeah. You were gonna be my accomplice. Just go along with it, okay? Can you come in here for a sec? Let's have a seat. I was gonna call you Aww, in anyway. Oh, she was ready to leave. Mm. You know why? Sad times. Um. <laughs> There's going to be downsizing. You have made my life so much easier. I am going to have to let you go first. What? Why? Why? Well, theft and stealing. <laughs> this is not good, um, Frank. What am I supposed to have stolen? Post-it notes. 
post-it notes. Yeah, God. What are those Thank worth, you. like 50 cents? 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, you steal a thousand post-it notes at 50 cents a piece and... Run us out of business, Pam. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So awful. Um, it's an awful person. Yeah. I mean, I've never even stolen as much as a paper clip. And the best thing about it is that, uh... We're not, not gonna have to give you any severance pay. Gross misconduct and uh <laughs> it's so <clean> awful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you feel <laughs> awful. You should feel mad. <laughs> what a dick. You an ex punk! <laughs> we were joking around! I don't think he feels bad. Okay. He was in on it. He was my accomplice. And it's kind <laughs> like of a God, booster thing. And oh my gosh. God, you were, we totally got you. You're a jerk. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I know about that, yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. What is the most important thing? So awkward. Yeah. Is it the cash flow? My proudest moment here, it was a young Guatemalan guy came to me and said, would you be the godfather of my child? <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Made to let him go. He sucked. <laughs> oh God. How's your headache? Better. Good. I like the secret yeah. filming kind of a... from afar. Yes. I, do you want to? Yeah. Do you wanna... Great. Let me just... Uh... Oh, Roy. Yeah. Uh, she Roy. gotta get rid of Roy if she's really into Jim. She can't be doing this. Mm. Jim's gonna be a bit jelly. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, God, what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> I have not seen that. I thought I, I had. I have not, I have seen, not that. seen it. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My God. I feel like you laughed a lot too. Yeah, I enjoyed it. So there we go. That was the pilot of The Office. It turns out Tony had not seen I have not seen that. I actually thought I'd watched it. But I guess I haven't. So I've not seen any of this show. So there we go. At the beginning of the episode, it's going to be like, I've watched this episode. And underneath <laughs> says, not watched. That's why. Liar. I, I have not seen it. I've probably just seen clips of like... Tony totally lies. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. So you got to ask me. How did you like it? I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Um, like you said, like a lot of people said this one starts off slow and stuff. It's like, just awkward comedy in this yeah, one, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, like, you get to know the characters and there's yeah. no running and, and from jokes. what I've heard as well, like, um, Michael Scott, like, um, in the first season is quite a dick. Yeah. And then after season two, he becomes a bit more likeable and a yeah. bit more lovable, like, like, lovable scamp, kind of. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they kind of find their way. But, um, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting. Did you remember it all? Yeah. Then? Yeah, yeah. Um, Thing is, I think it's really hard, because when, when it's a show that is... Probably people disagree with me, but like the office is very office based. Yeah, it's almost like it's always sunny and like a lot of them are in the pub and we're just mm -hmm. starting to see outside. Like there is office episodes when it's not in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think because a lot of them are set in the office, like I couldn't remember what was in the pilot until I'm watching yeah, it yeah. because certain things oh, it's in the yeah. same location. So sometimes yeah. it's hard to pinpoint. Yeah, at I get what, what you're point. saying. Yeah, yeah, I do understand that. Yeah. yeah. Because um, it can probably all start to merge yeah. into one. Um, yeah. It's uh, cool though, because from the last time when I watched it, I can't remember what part I watched it, there were some different characters mm -hmm. last time I watched it. Yeah. So it was I, me I, just like looking around like, where's this put? And I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I know of yet. a bunch of characters that join it. Like, um, like I don't know who. But I don't want to spoil in case people watch along yeah. with us or anything. You but... said cat party. And you're like, <laughs> cat party. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm like, did I hear that right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, you can see the the obviously it was written by this one was written by Ricky Gervais and yeah. Steve Merchant. You can probably see the the dry kind yes. of British humour kind of of it. Um, yeah, um, I think it plays really well into the fact that it's a mockumentary. Yeah, so oh yeah, yeah, it's a really cool idea. You really get the vibe that this is 
right, we're starting this mockumentary, there's going to be people filming your day today, yeah. and like that awkward feeling of people, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you could kind of almost tell that he's even acting up. Oh, he's playing up, yeah. Like yeah, as sure. a boss for the camera, because it's kind of yeah. like, oh, this and is he's just making himself camera. look awful. Yeah. Looks but so bad. It's that sort of thing that if in the moment they would have thought, oh, this will look fun, this will make me look cool, <laughs> yeah. but like the reality, of, that's probably also the vibe it goes into when, yeah. like, uh, they still know the cameras are there because they still talk to the cameras. <laughs> yeah. But I, like, I, I'd imagine that if cameras were in a location all the time, when they first appear, you're going to be very aware of them. Yeah. But then you're also you probably forget that they're yeah. just kind of act normal, and then yeah, people will it just yeah just become natural. Like you just yeah. be doing your thing. Yeah. Which is probably how yeah. this episode is. Like, like a lot of people say, like the first series is a bit like it's not as great, but I, is that I enjoyed it. I liked but is it. that because which of is a good vibe? sign? I don't know. Is that because of the vibe of them even getting used to Possibly. being filmed yeah. in oh, a yeah, maybe. mockumentary yeah. sort of thing? I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah. It's like a lot. A lot of comedies take their time to yeah. like, like, like what we said at the beginning. Always sunny is the same. Parks and Recreation is a very direct comparison to this. Yeah. I don't, you, do you know what it's about? Have you ever seen Parks and Rec? It's, it's literally the same concept as this, but they work in an office, like a, a government office that takes care of parks and recreation oh, okay. in the town. And it's their day-to-day life in this office. So, um, yeah, it's basically the same idea. And it's a yeah. mockumentary as well. So, um, But, yeah, I've watched, like, a couple seasons of that. And I love Parks and Rec. It's a show we want, I want, to want us to watch yeah. it. Because I've never finished it. Um, yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, even that has to find its footing as well. So, yeah. um, And, like I said, I've read things that, like... Michael Scott becomes different as time goes yeah. on and yeah characters find their way uh, did you know that Bob Odenkirk Saul Goodman auditioned for the role of Michael Scott um, yeah you told me this yeah there's an audition tape of him doing it there's a bunch of people yeah. that audition for different roles um, yeah um, I can't remember who else there was someone else that auditioned for a role, but they gave him a different role and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, would have been interesting, Bob Odenkirk. Yeah. <laughs> I think he would have done good. But yeah, I, I, from what I've heard, Steve Carell does very well in this yeah. show. So, um, but yeah, so yeah, Michael Scott. He was very. He's the boss, but he's trying to be jokey and he's friendly. To be too good of a boss, and it's just not going yeah. well for him. Um, yeah, and his jokes don't always land, and they're not. Oh, that prank he pulled on Pam was yeah, awful. They're not very like he went too far. There was a moment he could have stopped it, and yeah. then he just kept going. Yeah, and he, you can see him trying not to crack up. Yeah, uh, oh, so bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I like the puns, the jelly and pudding. And... Yeah, <laughs> and I like the bit that a bit afterwards as well as they've done the puns where he's like pudding. I'm trying to think of another one. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I really I like think that. It, this episode was done really well with like a temp starting as well. Because then, like, the temp kind of introduced oh, yeah. themselves to other people in the office, yeah. which kind of introduced you to their and characters. It's, yeah, it's a very good fish-out-of-water character, because, like, so a fish-out-of-water character is, like, a character that's new to that situation, yeah. and then people can explain to them, but really to the audience, yeah. what is going on. Um, it's the perfect way to do it, yeah. Um, yeah, so... Um, I, I've heard of him before. I can't remember his... Um, the actor's name now but he, he did a film not oh. too long ago BJ something right? yeah um, yeah I can't remember um, yeah so yeah it was cool uh, we obviously got mostly uh, Pam was in it quite a lot yeah, she Pam, seems very Jim. timid doesn't want to work there yeah um, Pam, Jim and oh that Dwight. like she, like he, he like throwed her off all the time as well he's so awful yeah. to her he's like um, oh why that goes in the special that? filing cabinet yeah you in the bin. <laughs> it's like, yeah, why didn't I get that? It's like, yeah, you put it in the bin. <laughs> yeah. And the bit, obviously, when he was saying about losing her job, it's like, uh, he said... Um, about the no severance what would, He said, you've helped me in a... Like, very very much helped me in that you've made my job easier to get rid of someone. Yeah. I got rid of you, yeah. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. But she seems like she doesn't want to be there. She's very timid. Nobody wants to be a secretary. Does anyone yeah. want to be a secretary? You must be a kid, I guess, yeah. I'm guessing so. Obviously, uh, Jim. Yeah. Uh, I know so of the character. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I've seen him in A Quiet Place 1 and 2, and that's yeah, yeah pretty much what I've seen him in. But, um, yeah, uh, he, he was funny. He, he does not seem to... <laughs> I love... He's very... Um, 
just working for the pay. Yeah, because he's like, oh, what will job. I do if I lose this job and all yeah, that information I've got? Like, yeah, he's very, like, sarcastic about it. Um, and I love how <laughs> Dwight was, like, singing along and he just stared into the camera. Yeah. I think I've heard that's a thing, him looking into the camera yeah. is a thing, which I quite like. Um, and I think I've probably said a gif of that before, of him staring probably. into the camera. Um yeah. But you're already getting the vibe as well of like the Dwight Jim relationship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they seem to hate each other. Well, well, Jim seems to just push his buttons and wind yeah. him up. Yeah, oh, it continues. Oh, no, yeah, I not can to imagine. spoil, but it no, continues. No, I can imagine. Um, I the first thing I thought of when he was talking about the office earlier was the Jello. The stove yeah, throwing the Jello. Okay, yeah. But I didn't want to say anything because I wasn't sure when it was. When it was, mm. uh, I didn't realize it was the first episode. Mm. Yeah, no. I honestly thought I'd seen the first episode, but no, I have not seen this. Like, I did not recognise any of it. No. Um, as I didn't rec- I recognise characters in The Office and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I remember Yogg's Castle watched him play in Trouble with Terrace Town. They played a map that was The Office, which oh, was yeah. really cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Jim seems cool. Uh, Dwight is just very much... Oh, I'm, the, I'm a badass. I know everything. I'm yeah. the... Because he's like, oh, I'm a volunteer sheriff or whatever. Yeah. Like, you don't mess with... There's not me- no messing about. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, when he was like, I'm the assistant regional manager. Assistant, assistant to the regional manager. <laughs> yeah. Oh, obviously as well with the Michael Scott thing, he bought his own world best boss bug. Yeah. Which sums it up so well. It does. Yeah. So good. We met Jan um, as well from corporate as well. Yes. Yeah, which I oh, thought was so awkward with the phone yeah. call. Yeah. Uh, ugh. <laughs> so bad. Um, yeah. And then... We also... Met, met Roy. Oh, yeah. Pam's got fiancé. I didn't know that. I had no idea. <laughs> I always thought... Like, I, I've heard of Jim and Pam, like, right? And yeah. So that sounds familiar, but I didn't know Roy was... I don't know. Oh, you're in for a ride. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you're in for a ride. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, he seems familiar as well, that actor. I don't know who that is, but... Yeah. Because I didn't realise they don't... Because they've got The Office... Yeah. But they've got a warehouse, which is where Roy... Because oh, I don't okay. know if you saw him. Yeah, he, he said Dundam. Yeah, he, he also had a... He was in blue, like a blue Yeah, he uniform. works in the warehouse that's downstairs. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, we might meet some warehouse people eventually, I imagine, or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. obviously I've heard of Dunder Mifflin as well, so that's a familiar. But he also seems like a bit of a dick. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh that small talk was just so awkward. Like, What's he didn't in wanna... the back? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> but I guess... I think he... His personality in the show itself is a bit of a dick, to be fair. But I don't want to side with him. But if you knew that your fiance was upstairs, yeah, chatting kind of away, flirting, yeah, and yeah, no, the I other guy flirt, I think you would be yeah. a bit. That's salty. what I was saying at the end. I was like, Pam, you need to leave your fiance if you really don't like him yeah. and you love Jim, because yeah, that's what it seems I, like. But I do think that his he's not got the. He's a bit of a dick anyway, sort of thing. Yeah. But that doesn't help if you no, know yeah, yeah, yeah. that that's happening, sort yeah, of thing. So. So. Yeah. Um, who was the other guy we met? Um, we heard his name. He was talking in the meeting. Oh. oh, shit. I know his name, but I can't... Like, because the name sounded familiar when they said it. you got to look it up, yeah. I've got to look it up. Why is he not listening quite early? He's going to die in the next episode. <laughs> there he is. Stanley. Stanley. I knew it began with an S. I can, I can remember. I will forever remember that now. That's my first dog's name. <laughs> Stanley. Yeah. yeah. He seemed um, very like done with this shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then Michael made a comment or something like, and oh, he was not impressed with that. I don't know what it was. He said, "Isn't it because he's like, can you promise?" And he was like, "I promise." And then Dwight was like, over his. There's, uh, your mum's, mum's grave, grave. Like, no. <laughs> he also made a comment though like I don't know if it was slightly racist or making that up mm. I don't know um, it's definitely moments in this <laughs> I can imagine uh, and then I've seen there was a couple other background characters that I noticed the guy mm. eating the food yeah with like the ball like, yeah. top like, I don't want to tell you their names no no no, no. yeah I don't yeah. yeah they didn't say but the they name. did kind of pan over other characters that become men yes and there's also the woman talking to the him. blonde was it an Mom. older woman? Oh, no. The older woman with brown hair. She was saying, oh, I think I'll be the one to go. And yeah. then he's like, yeah, you will. <laughs> but yeah. Just... Then you had the blonde woman. Blonde woman? I don't remember. 
remember seeing her. She was kind of in the oh, back okay. corner at one point. I think it panned over to her when uh, Jim said about a cat party. Oh, no, I think I know who you mean. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's the person for the cat party. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. I know who you mean. She's got glasses, right? Mm. She got glasses? No, I don't think so. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of someone with glasses. Her. Oh, that's who I thought you were talking about earlier. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, maybe it was her. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't know. They didn't have names. We didn't hear the names. So, yeah. Um, and, like, you've just quickly scrolled through. I wasn't so paying I wasn't paying attention to character names or anything like that. I didn't see that. But I saw faces. And I was like, yeah, I've seen these faces in clips. Yeah. I don't remember the clips. I, I remember some clips out of context. Because even but, Catherine Tate's yeah. in this. Yes, that was someone I was going to mention, yeah. but yeah, it was I didn't say. But yeah, yeah, uh, f- I, from what I gather, people hated her character. Yeah. But we'll see, we'll get there. Um, yeah, enjoyed so far. Welcome yeah, the feels very different from like Always Sunny. Um, in like, there's no was there any music in this at all? It felt very yeah silent mm-hmm. and just documentary yeah, style. No, I think there was. Yeah, so whereas. Always Sunny in the episode we watched recently today, they were, they were kind of talking about um, like sitcoms and stuff. Yeah. They're like talking about music lightening things and stuff like that. And suddenly does that. It has the music that lightens up the mood of the horrible stuff yeah. that's happening. This didn't have that, but I kind of get but that because it's, the it's uh, sort of. yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm very excited to see more. So mm-hmm. yeah, it was interesting. Um, I'm glad I finally started it because yeah. it's been on my list for a long time. That's the yeah. point of this channel. It was to try out new stuff and a lot of the stuff we've been watching I've seen but yeah. I'm, I'm excited yes. I've got 200 episodes left to go <laughs> so there we go what was it that you said at one point you said something I was like oh you got 200 episodes oh, it, was, this. it was him doing the walk he oh, was like, yeah. oh my god you were like what is he doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so God. there you go. But yeah, and obviously, yeah, we, yeah, did we talk about the prank of him putting the thing in the jelly? Yeah, we did. But yeah, yeah. Oh, and the whole episode we didn't talk what it was about. It was about downsizing, like the yeah. the office, and they're all freaking out and stuff. And I like how we kept trying to talk to Pam to like get her to like back him up, but she was like, "Oh yeah, I was there. They're, yeah, they're no, talking they're... about shut us down." <laughs> it's like Pam, what did I tell you about? Confidentiality. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, you just asked me. Just ah, oh, yeah. Like she's not mind reader. No. Um, yeah, I'm excited. The only other things I know there are other little clips in it. I probably won't talk about them actually. Like I said, if people are watching along, I've seen like famous gifts, but out of context. So. Yeah. Uh, but there we go. Uh, I've got to go do some parkour. So uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll uh-huh. end there. Um, that was the pilot, episode one. Um, we will be back in a week's time. I'm not sure when this is airing, but in a week's time for episode two. There are six episodes only in season one. Yeah. So that slow beginning isn't that slow, really. No. Uh, yeah, but thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. This is a whole new journey for me. Yeah. Not sure how much Claire has seen. It's going to be a bit tricky knowing when yeah. to put watched and not watched. Uh, I guess after the episode, you'll let me know. Um, but there we go. Uh, yeah, anything else you want to say? Don't think so. No, yeah. Uh, have you ever watched the UK one? Sorry, I wanted no. to ask. No. I've seen like little bits of it, so I knew who was in it and stuff. Uh, yeah, but there we go. Uh, thank you once again, and we shall see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.